हे गाइस दिस इज़ योर फ्रेंड माई नाग फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू अवर चैनल एंड अनदर वीडियो ऑन रेवर स्ट्रक्चर्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन टू डेज वीडियो ऑन रेवर स्ट्रक्चर्स विल सॉल्व वन ऑफ द क्वेरीज ऑफ आवर यूजर्स सो फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ आर व्यूवर्स हेट कॉमेंटेड ऑन आर वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू प्लेस कॉलम्स इन रेविट सो हेजल क्रैंक हेट कॉमेंटेड हाउ टू अरेंज टू पुट स्पेसिंग्स ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेसिस ऑफ कॉलम ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर टाइस दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी एम एम एट टॉप एंड बॉटम एंड वन फिफ्टी एम एम इन द मिडल सो हाउ टू प्रोवाइड डिफरेंट स्पेसिंग्स फॉर योर टाइस सो विल डू एग्जैक्टली दैट इन आवर टू डेज वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू गो टू लेवल वन दैट इज द स्प्रिंट लेवल सो आफ्टर गोइंग टू द लेवल वन लेट्स जस्ट असाइन आवर रिबार्स विल गो टू स्ट्रक्चर देन रिबार एंड देन विल सिलेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर रिबार शेप एंड देन विल सिलेक्ट लेट्स ए सिक्सटीन एम एम डायमीटर बार्स एंड विल सिलेक्ट परपेंडिकुलर to work plane as our placement method so we'll place the rebars so after placing the rebars we will just simply click on rebar again this time we will insert our ties for the ties we'll select this shape we'll select the rebar diameter of 8 mm and after that we'll select the placement method to parallel to work plane we'll assign our ties and after that we'll click on it after clicking on escape we'll just do it maximum spacing let's give it 120 we'll view in our 3d model the ties and the longitudinal reinforcement have been assigned so now for the parts we'll go back to the east view and this is our column so we'll select this right click on it override graphics in view by element increase the transparency click on apply okay and after that we are going to cut so we are going to go to the option of modify split so we are going to divide this into three portion let's divide it into three portions of 1000 1200 and 1000 that is three parts you can divide as per your preference so for that let's take like we are 1000 1200 and then again 1000 we'll repeat the same in the next level so after that let's select our longitudinal reinforcement this one and you can simply take it up to the level which you want and similarly you can select this particular longitudinal reinforcement after that you can adjust the size so after doing that simply just select this particular stirrups or the ties so for selecting the ties we'll just click on it and then click on copy select this Ref as reference and select this as for the placements. Now click on Escape, click on this. We will take this down. Let's take it up to this much. We'll ignore the warnings. Let's check in the 3D view whether it's actually inside or not. So it's inside. So it's okay. So now we'll go back to the east view and we will simply click on this. as you can see this is the spacing of 120 mm copy this from here to here and also copy from here to here because this is also 120 so this should perfectly fit okay so this is not done this is done now we'll copy from here this point to this point this is also 120 mm spacing escape we can just reduce the type or we can increase the longitudinal rebar it's done so you can check the spacing this is 120 mm so in the mid portion as you can see here in the mid portion 
okay this one is remaining in the mid portion we can select this we can extend up to this much and we'll do this spacing as 150 so in the mid we have provided spacing of 150 and for the top and the bottom we can also copy this once again copy this is our reference and this is our destination done now for this portion middle portion also that is the next middle portion also we can simply select on this copy this is our reference point and this is our destination point escape so now as you can check if you want you can also increase the spacing just a little bit this spacing is 150 this spacing is 120 this spacing at the start is 120 this is the end this is the end spacing this is 120 this is the mid spacing of the net next level this is again your if you just click on it this is 150 and this is the starting or the 120 mm so as you can see we have arranged uh, your ties into different spacings so now we can go to the 3d view and we can select these two particular longitude reinforcement as you can see these longitude reinforcement we need to increase the size so we'll do one by one we'll select this and we can extend this up to the portion which it is required so we can simply extend it up to this much now we can select the next reinforcement that is the longitudinal reinforcement this one this one needs to be we can just simply you can also do it from the elevation view that will be easier but I'm just for sake of the reference I'm doing it from this view so after it's done click on escape and after that we can also check it in our realistic view select all the reinforcements here filter it to only rebars change the visibility to go to edit view unobscured view as solid okay so now you can see our steel rebars with different spacing at start middle and end of each individual levels so friends that's all for today's video for more such videos stay tuned to our channel bye bye